On today's episode, this pickup could be the future and should be. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. Take a look at this sow's ear of a pickup truck. This is the Toyota IMV0, a new light truck the company has launched for Asian markets like Thailand, but not here in North America. Yes, it's ugly, damned ugly. But there's one aspect of this vehicle that's very attractive, the price. Now the base price of this small pickup is approximately $10,000, and that's right, 10 grand. With the average transaction price of new cars in America something like $40,000 these days and rising interest rates, affordability is becoming a major issue for the automotive industry. And of course, electric vehicles are even more expensive. Now the result has been skyrocketing used vehicle prices and with very high levels of consumer debt also worsened by these same higher interest rates, they're predicting real softening in the new car market next year. Now the economists will call that softening demand, but that's not really the truth. The demand is there and always has been, but the ability to afford the product isn't. There are lots of reasons for this, from historically low interest rates in the past that encouraged prolific consumer spending, to a tech-driven switch away from durable basic machines to highly sophisticated computer-driven products mirroring smartphones. Now, the result of all this is a current world where a basic half-ton pickup truck is approaching 50 grand, which, with current interest rates, is not going to be affordable for the bulk of the consumer base for that kind of vehicle. Now, machines like this Toyota offer an interesting alternative and an opportunity. The American tradition is a base price MSRP from which the vehicle is then optioned during the ordering process to add features to the individual consumer. So the order goes to the factory and your personal machine is built. For those that want to order off the rack, stock vehicles are built with packages of popular options. But for those who order a vehicle, it was always possible to build a highly unique combination. Now, what if Toyota did something similar with this vehicle? Imagine a very low-priced entry-level pickup truck in which the optioning up process happens after the purchase, not before. Imagine a market where things like audio systems, power accessories, upgraded interiors, and even powertrains are sold to individual owners a la carte after they buy the vehicle. Going in for an oil change? Why not pick up cruise control while you're there? At the dealer for regular maintenance? Why not upgrade the seats? And this concept could spill over into the aftermarket, something we already are seeing in the US light truck market, where dealers frequently package accessories like alloy wheels, bed liners, lift kits, window tint, and other add-ons up front at the sale. The key would be to engineer the vehicle to easily accept these upgrades, which requires that the base vehicle be designed with absolute simplicity in mind. Now, I think this would be wildly popular, but there are obstacles. Two of them are the DOT and the EPA. Now, current motor vehicle safety standards are, I believe, excessive, and upgrading a vehicle like this to modern standards will be expensive. And of course, emission controls are always an issue, but I believe a vehicle like this could probably come in with a base MSRP of maybe $15,000 in the US market. It might have to be assembled in Mexico or Southeast Asia to achieve this, but on the other hand, extreme simplicity also makes the production process much easier to automate. I know you're saying, but it's ugly. It is, but it doesn't have to be. The basic exterior shape of the vehicle could be streamlined without additional cost, and let's face it, vehicles like the Jeep Wrangler are hardly beauty queens. But utilitarian form and ruggedness has a beauty all its own. Now, the Detroit 3 own the pickup truck market, but Toyota is dominant worldwide. So I believe there's a market for this kind of engineering simplicity in America. So how about a Toyota? Koreo onegishimasu. Well, that's it for today's episode of End of the Line, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.